Hello, and here we are again at Snazzy Paint with Max Kilborn. Today I'm doing a caricature in color of Philip Liu, a legend in the tattoo world. I don't know a lot about Mr. Liu, but what I do know is he's famous all over the world for his art. And I had the good fortune of meeting him one time a very long time ago. And I do remember him to be an amiable man and a good-natured fellow. Many artists like doing characters of famous people. I think the reason they do that is because they're very recognizable and you kind of get the art. I'm no exception. It's just that I like doing characters of famous tattoo people. Not everybody knows them. The program I'm working on is Clip Studio Paint, and I am painting on a Wacom tablet. I haven't had any formal training with digital art. All of my training has been trial and error, and it's been trial and error for a very long time. I do love the way some of the artists that do digital paint work on like YouTube and stuff, I love the way they do this but I haven't found a way to learn to paint that way yet. And I, you know what? I just don't have the time for it. So what I do is I just throw down a bunch of paint, see what it needs and fix it until I like it. I don't know Mr. Lou personally, so I'm kind of faking what I'm gonna put in the picture with him. I know I can't go wrong with a tattoo machine, so that's, number one. And I am going to put in some of the signature skull designs that he does. I'll put those in the background. Since I've been working in the digital paint world, I've tried many different ways to apply paint, but I haven't settled on a consistent format for myself. But because I have been an airbrush artist for most of my life, I'm most comfortable using the airbrush tool in here and I can get away with that. Here's a quick story. I've never raced motorcycles. Never been a racer. But for a while there, when I was a little bit younger, I had some good friends that were hot rod guys and they raced motorcycles. I happened to own a CBR 929. It was a bit of a rocket. And I would accompany my friends to what's called a track day, where I could take my motorcycle to a racetrack that was outside of Las Vegas, nice and hot, and practice pretend I was a racer. My friends would try to teach me the ropes. After a while, I started to get pretty good. I got good handling the turns and the sh proper shifting and basically the ins and outs on how to handle a motorcycle like this. I felt uh, really good about how I was doing, but I just couldn't get up to the speeds that my friends were pulling off. I just couldn't do it. The reason I'm telling you this story is at one point I was talking to a friend of mine who was a seasoned motorcycle racer, had more than 20 years in the industry. And I asked him, how do I go faster? How do I get better? And he told me, learn everything you can about keeping that bike smooth in the turns. Hold your line well, keep your R's up, and speed will come with time. So I did. I worked hard. I worked very hard at doing the smoothest job I could do of getting around that track. I did start to get going pretty fast. And after a while, I ended up not pursuing further training, it turned out to just be 
well, just all too much for me and extremely expensive, which I just basically couldn't afford. I loved it, I just couldn't afford it. I still remember it. I still remember that time as one of the highlights of my life, hanging out with those great friends of mine and racing around like we're crazy people. But that one quote stuck to me, speed will come with time. I have been able to apply that concept with many aspects of my life. It doesn't bother me that I'm slow at what I do sometimes, so long as I'm doing a smooth job of it. And when I'm learning to paint or sculpt or some anything that I'm learning to do, I can be content with having a difficult time during the learning process because I know that speed comes with time. Many times in my life, I've seen people completely frustrated with the difficulties of how long it takes to get good at what they're trying to learn. And I try to explain this concept to them and to always remember it myself. I always want to get better at something faster than I actually am. And I occasionally have to stop and just say to myself over and over, speed comes with time.
Okay, I want to say thanks for watching and listening to this old man's nostalgia. Check out some of my other videos, of course. Like and subscribe, all that. And always stay safe. Learning to get past this goofy COVID way of living will be a thing of the past with time. <laughs>